Crystal? Yes. How y'all doing? Travis? Oh, you said it right. Oh, good. How y'all doing? Good, how are you? Oh, I'm doing great. Where are we off to? We are going to Azul. Y'all date today? Hot. Yeah. <laughs> I understand that. Oh, we don't have to wear masks. Oh no, I don't oh, care in my car. Great. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. I, I love you even more. <laughs> love you back. <laughs> are y'all just visiting, or y'all live out here? Florida. Okay. We're on a girls' trip here. Wait for it. Wait for it. What do you have to say to the girls' trip in Arizona? Girls' trip in Arizona. What made you choose what? Arizona? <laughs> Why the hell are you here? Why the hell are you here? Well, Arizona is good, but what made you choose what Tucson? Made you choose the old people place. What you could have choose. You should have. He could have chose Phoenix instead. Apparently, that's where we should have gone. <laughs> Heather. Ah. Uh, uh, we're putting so, the blame on someone look, else. Look, somebody else planned our trip. Okay. Because she went to U of A. Right. So she came. She wants to come back here. Okay. And then she bailed last minute. And then she we got would. stuck coming here. Well, she would. She would. Say. <laughs> <laughs> bitch. Where's your day? It's, it's, it's downtown. It's, like right, it's right here. Mm -hmm. So, and then now, like, we were going to change it, but she bailed, like, probably, like, two, two days, days ago. So, we couldn't, mm. like, we got, a, like, a negative COVID test. COVID test. We couldn't go anywhere. Oh, okay. So, we were stuck. Right. We came been to Arizona, so we're like, oh, well, this is, you know. Tucson's good, though. We came to see the cat But, apparently, if I had a dollar for every time somebody said, why'd you come here? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe somewhere else. <laughs> Tucson is good. You actually chose a good place. It's just usually, you know, people will go to the big city, which is Phoenix. Fast pace. Well, just you more know congested. what? We're old ladies back here. We got three kids. <laughs> we had six kids between, between the two of them. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tongue twisted. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah. How y'all like Florida? Love it. Love it. Oh, that's good. Yeah. But it's, it's just this hot, so this doesn't do anything for you. Like, when Y'all have like, more humidity, right? We do. Yeah, ours is, it gets as low as a 3%, right. which is real low. It's just hotter this year because due to the COVID, I, I told everybody, everywhere around the world, yeah, everywhere around the world has been experiencing unusual weather. So we even have, like, usually we're hot, but this, this is a different kind of heat this summer. It feel actually we took Phoenix heat. Phoenix heat came over here. Oh, that's and how Phoenix. crazy. It is. Mm -hmm. So so tell them about the glove. Are you gonna do it? That's my dri <laughs> That's my driving glove. <laughs> that way I don't get those callus because I used to get them. Really? Yeah. I, thought, I just got a callus from playing Top Golf. <laughs> <laughs> that's because she spanked. I did. She spanked she you. Did. She sure did. So, that is a legit callus. <laughs> that's what winners, that's what winners. There you go. <laughs> Alright, so what's your best Mexican restaurant here? I ask everybody and nobody can tell us. The best Mexican restaurant? Yeah. Oh, see, we're done. All of them. This is what this town is about. This is a this is close to Mexico, so all of them. That's what we thought. Potosino, Filiberto's. What are you talking about? Restaurant, restaurants? Man, just, just, just look at just look it up. Like they're all a lot of these restaurants are like over Gym? three over okay. three point five stars, okay. which is good. Okay. What do you think about Azul? That's where we're going now. I personally never ate there. Oh, Did you look at the reviews? Yes, they're what good. Is, see? Mm -hmm. I go off reviews. Anything okay. over three point five. Yeah, this is a four point six. Oh yeah, it don't <laughs> then it's good then. Like we had to like dress appropriately to be <laughs> to top golf and a to be <laughs> somewhat dressy but also not sweat our ass off. Exactly. Or at top golf. Yeah. So. <laughs> I understand that. Hello, so are you um, an Arizona native? Nope, but I've been out here eleven years now. Oh, so where are you from? California. We don't need that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, but I like Tucson. Tucson is good. It grew on me five years ago. I didn't appreciate it until I came back from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, back in 2019. Ah, I'm from Maryland. Oh, nice. I went out there for a vacation slash getaway, possibly me going to move out there. You went to a vacation in Maryland? I'm sorry. Or Pittsburgh? <laughs> Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And the, she's from Jersey. Nice. But now we're in Florida. Okay. And y'all live in Florida. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Florida's amazing. 
Well, southwest Florida. Okay. We're in, Na we're in Naples. With the old so the, the south, the, the farthest you can go southwest. Okay. Where you can Everglades. Okay. So which part y'all don't like about Florida? The only thing is it's fucking hot. <laughs> I know, right? But here, I mean, that's why they're like, oh, it's hot here. I'm like, it's not Florida. It's, it's 90. I bet you this five. feels better than Florida. Well, Florida's humid, so. Right? So we got that well, dry we heat. We don't have the scorpions here. <laughs> Or the Gile monsters, or the habanero. What, what the fuck was that? Yeah, the habanero. Jalapeno. What the fuck branded us yesterday? The warthog. Hold on. Halogenus. I don't even know what it was, but. I tell you. Oh, you you exited out of all my things. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you. Halogenus. Havelinos. Havelinos. We have that out here for yes. sure. <laughs> That's there funny. Is. There he is. Yep. Then we saw a Gile monster, right? Yep. Okay, yeah. Yep. Nice. No, we don't, not nice. <laughs> not nice. <laughs> we don't want to go to the ER. <laughs> oh, you won't. Uh, unless he bites you. You won't bet. They rarely attack people unless, you know. He was, he, he was running back and forth. Yeah, but we oh, man. <laughs> we, were, we were behind glass. Okay, good. We good. Until we walked out. Yeah. <laughs> say that. Mm -hmm. But do you look for them? I don't. I like so other people. what's your favorite thing about Arizona? I, the nature. That's what Arizona is about. Enjoy the nature aspect of it, you know? That's what I think Heather wants to move here. Yep. Because people want that big city fast pace like that's but that's not what Tucson's about. You know, Naples isn't either. Naples is not a big city. If you want to yep. go to a big city, go to Tampa. There you so go. Yeah. See, Tucson, in my opinion, is a mellow slash simple city to live in. You got to be simple to live out here. Yeah. You want that big city, fast-paced life? You can get that in semi-Phoenix. We're not far from California, Vegas, Texas. Even if you want to fly How somewhere. California? Oh, we're not far. We're like seven hours. Is that where your family is? Is your family all over? I got, I got family we're all over. But... Him the, like, you know, <laughs> like, we're like, poor guy. I'm, <laughs> I'm out here by myself, <laughs> but yeah, my immediate family is in Phoenix. Yeah. Is that what drew you to Arizona too? Is having your family here, or do they follow you? We're giving. They you didn't really follow me. I don't think they follow my sister for the most part. They didn't really uh, follow me. Oh, well, I guess they followed me back in 2015 because they did live out here in 2015 for like a year. So they did follow me to a certain degree. <laughs> but I'm in Tucson by myself. I like it. I like being by myself. Let, I don't have no drama. I'm at peace. That's what we like right there. No right? Drama. I'm at peace. No drama. With the family? <laughs> yeah, they got yeah. some they still got some drama they gotta work out. <laughs> That's every family. Alright. <laughs> exactly. I pick and choose when I'm gonna visit them. Yeah. <laughs> <Smart>. Right? <laughs> yeah, we already have we already had a talk so they understand where I'm coming from. Yeah. So you've gotta learn how to set those healthy boundaries. You gotta make sure you're firm. Healthy boundaries. Healthy. I, you don't speak up. Right? Right? I promise you, when you're firm, most people will not cross those boundaries because they realize how serious you are. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So I like that. Lessons of the day. I like that. <laughs> right? Set the boundaries. How long y'all been riding with um, Uber? Um, forever. Yeah. You like Uber? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's always good to hear. We like to drink. So, there you go. We're not driving. Exactly. Right? See, that's smart because people still risk it, which is mind boggling. Yeah. In Arizona, we have one of the highest DUI rates in really? the world. Are you serious? Oh, man. It, it happens often. Well, that's because people are dehydrated. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. They have one beer and they're drunk. Right? Yeah, you know, that's so a good that's a good word to put like, it. Hey, you Look, too. <laughs> tell us like the craziest people you have back seen. You, know, you, <laughs> you know, people always ask me that. 
But I always tell people I don't want to disappoint you, but I don't really have any crazy stories like that. So let's make one. No, but that's, <laughs> that's good for you. Exactly. Yeah. You know, not to the point where I felt like that's my life you're was put. Driving in Phoenix. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Phoenix. That's probably be a whole different Look, story. He's, he's, he's an old people land. Yeah. That's what we heard. We're an old people land over here. Some crazy stories do happen with drivers out here, according to my passengers. Because they had to tell them. But see, I don't have any crazy stories to the point where I feel like my life was put in danger. I had to let live for Uber know or the cops know. Nothing like that. Yeah. I just have sketchy stories oh. and interesting. I'll take sketchy well, and let's interesting. Hear interesting. <laughs> let's, 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 let's hear your most interesting Uber ride. Most yeah. interesting? Yeah. Hmm. Man, that's a good question. It's so far in between, like, because I don't get, I don't know. Most of my passengers are cool. Well, that's good. Most, they really are. See, I'm a people's person. And I let people know being a people's person doesn't necessarily mean you're good in communication. What it really means is reading people. You got to read their vibes and energy. You see? Have you ever kicked somebody out? Nope. Were like, yeah. Almost, almost, but not, not really. But I also think they come in here and they're like, oh, he could probably fuck me out, so I'm not going to say <laughs> Really? I look that intimidating? Yep. Well, that's good to know. See, I got a clean car. I have good energy, good vibes. So, like, I tell people, like, we can't control how people are going to act towards us, but we can control how we're going to react towards people. It's all about how you're going to respond. You see what I'm saying? Once again, you set those healthy boundaries. See, people already know with my demeanor and, like, my energy, they know not to really cross them. Right? But, see, I'll tell you this. I do get people where they do have bad energy in my car at times. And like, you know how I greeted y'all and I verified the destination where we're going? Sometimes people don't reciprocate the greeting or I have to repeat if the destination is correct or not, which is mind boggling. And they get mad about that? Those people come off as entitled. And then when you tell them to have a good day at the end of the ride, they don't even say it back sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> You're an Uber driver, say it. Right? <laughs> I didn't, I didn't pick up a couple of homeless people back in the past. I don't know how they had a Lyft app on their phones or somebody requested it for them. But that was weird because they smelled really, really bad. And then they put a bunch of stuff in my trunk. Oh, man. That was really interesting. You know, You're I'm, like, there might be drugs in the back of this. You never know, right? <laughs> Knock on, knock on wood that that doesn't ever happen with me. I feel like, look, I'm out. <laughs> right? See? I'm sure, I'm sure there's some kind of... Oh, yeah, there's stories out there. Oh. Oh, we can. We can. We can cancel rides. We can... See, I'm good at reading, like, the area, too. So if I feel like I'm going to a sketchy area, I'll just go ahead and cancel that ride. I've done it before. If a person calls me and they kind of got an attitude, I can hear it in their voice. Yeah, yeah. I'll just cancel that ride, right? And then if a person kind of looks sketchy and I can sense it ahead of time, I'll just cancel. Sometimes they're like, hey, what are you doing? Where are you going? I'm like, I don't want to pick this person up. <laughs> exactly. That's why I don't have any crazy stories like that. And I've started at many times of the day and I've ended at many times of the day. No scary stories. That's good. That's good. Now, I tell people, on Friday, okay, after 12 a.m., you always, there's a, there's a lot of weirdos out after 12 a.m. And then after 2 a.m., you're risking folks to throw up in your car, especially on the weekend. So, like, I, I've, been, I've been doing Lyft and Uber for a while, so I got a lot of experience. On Friday and Saturdays now, I'll stop anywhere between 11 and 1 a.m. I'm usually done. And after that, you're only getting, like, crazy people. Yep. So even though drivers will say, oh, you'll make a lot of money doing it, you typically can, but it ain't even worth but it. But it's not worth the ridiculous it, people you're going to get. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> Look, right? that's when you need like a plexiglass right here, so they can't like <laughs> like the taxis. <laughs> right, right. That's funny. <laughs> tarp, <laughs> tarp over your seat. <laughs> I haven't had nobody to throw up in my car, but I did have a few incidents where they almost did. And you're like, pull over, get out. See, I always let people know like. When they get into my car, hey, because if I sense that they're, see, they're super drunk and we like, gotta we gotta pay attention as drivers. Like we gotta sense it. So if a person gets in my car, before they get in my car, if they're stumbling, yeah. that lets me know they're yeah. too drunk. Right. If they're slurring on their words, that let me know they're too drunk. If they're loud or obnoxious, 
that lets me know. And you gotta pay attention to the quiet drunk ones in your back seat. <laughs> quiet ones. Yeah. So I always let right. people know. Then you look and they're like, right okay so i always let people know i'm like hey if you gotta if you if you if you gotta throw up just let me know yeah. you can pull over okay. 45 okay. seconds to a minute yeah. there's so many areas you can pull over in tucson you can even pull over on the freeway you can throw up for 45 seconds to a minute we'll stop by the gas station get you some water and i'll continue to take you to your destination usually when i say that they are mindful yeah they're like i got you and i made a promise to myself i won't ever pick up a blackout drunk person so if, a, if somebody says hey can you take my girlfriend home my friend home whoever and i'll give you and i'll tip you out more i'm not doing that because i, I don't want that that's a that's a um risky responsibility yeah it really is mm -mm. No. <laughs> right Now, other drivers, they, they got a lot of scary stories, possibly. And then the ones you heard on the news and social media, yeah, I don't have any stories like that. Even when I drove in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, I did live in Uber for two months out there. I didn't know anything about Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I don't. I didn't have any crazy stories out there. And I was doing it late nights, too, at times. Well, I think if, you know, as a driver, you're more aware. And, mm -hmm. you know, you have you your kind of like, exactly, you know beforehand. Mm -hmm. There's probably some people just like, whatever. Yep, you just gotta read the energy and you gotta read the vibes. And so, you gotta know when to stop. See, there's many times I always told myself there's not enough money in this world where I'll put myself, my passengers, or anybody else on the road in danger for. So if I need to turn off the app, I'll do exactly that. Yeah. What were you gonna say? <laughs> I kind of interrupted no, you for that no, quick second. That's all right. I was, you know, this is beautiful right here. Oh, yeah. It's a beautiful part of uh, Tucson. We got a lot of beautiful areas, though. Yeah. This is considered the north side. This is the north side. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, how late are you going to be out till? Um, we're, we're early we're ladies. Better. We're going to tuck ourselves in. <laughs> <laughs> Understand that. We're on East Coast time too, so this is actually eight o'clock for us. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. <laughs> eight oh eight. It's crazy though because the sun rises here still at five. Yeah. Here? Yeah. It starts. I looked, I looked it was like five seventeen this morning with sunrise. Yeah, I start you know, I, I drive early, so it starts coming up slowly by 4 30. are you driving that early i'm an early riser you know i perform my best in an early rise during the day I, I could drive at night time but typically i like to sleep at night i agree see we're really supposed to sleep at night anyway there's right. some people they, they can sleep during the day i can only take a nap during the day i can't really sleep for a long period of hours so when do you uber from what time to what time I usually start anywhere between 3 and 5 a.m. 3? This, this, this early rise is a little different. I started at 1.30 a.m. Whoa! <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, when do you actually sleep? I try to, I try to go to bed at anywhere between 6 up? and 8 p.m. 6, six or 8. Hours. I go, I go, no, 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 I try to go to bed anywhere between 6 and 8 p.m. Oh, okay. Typically, then, I'll wake up at 1 a.m. All I need is a good 4 to 6. And by the way, this is all natural energy. <laughs> I don't do any caffeine, energy drinks, no, no stimuluses, okay, none of that. All natural. So, you know, I've, I've, done, I've done something different lately, though. For the past few months, I've been taking, like, at least two breaks. Because I average eight hours of driving. But if it's busy, I'll go to about 15 hours. Wow. So what I'll do is I'll go home. I'll take about a good... You know hour break and i do my yoga stretches i'll take my whole healthy remedies and i'll eat my organic fruit then i go back out then if i take another break if i go if i go past yeah if i go about 15 hours i'll take another break and then eat my uh then i go home and do the same thing and then i'll eat my vegetables gotta stay gotta stay healthy you know guys take care of myself when i do this so that's why i always say when people do 12 to 16 hour days most people are not doing it on natural energy can you imagine if I did like some caffeine or some energy drinks? Yeah, I'll probably go even harder. But nah, I don't want to over. I don't want to overwork myself. <laughs> Our day though is still a long day. Yeah, it really is. That's why I tell people I make it look easy driving out here, but it really is not easy. I can't, I can't imagine 
do you do six to seven days a week or do you give yourself a day off? Yeah, typically I probably average about six days, but I, I go with how I feel. Yeah. So I go with my body now. I used to I used to push through a lot in the past. This year has been a little bit different. I go with how, my, how, how my body feels. So yeah, sometimes I'll do, how many days did I have off this week? I think I took about two, three days off. I had yesterday off. So I'm actually going really hard today. <laughs> really, really hard. I'm going to do about 15, 16 plus hours. Oh, boy. <laughs> right. So, yeah, I'll be done. So when did you start today? 1.30. 1.30 a.m. Did you really? I did. Oh, my gosh. I took a break about 9. Oh. I think it was about 9. And Probably 10. Right yeah, 10 o'clock. We were complaining about getting up at 4 to get on the plane. I have really good energy right now. I'm good. <laughs> He's good. He got his fruit. Right. Exactly. <laughs> got my water vegetables. too. That's like Renee says. You eat that fruit. Your what is it? Your uh, acidity level or something is real high, and that's right. Just like it, it makes you, it gives you that energy. Natural energy is the best energy, honestly. Right. Renee says. <laughs> All I need is a good night's rest of sleep and possibly a nap, and I'm good. And your fruit. And my fruit and my vegetables. There you go. Yeah. And I drink my water, natural spring water. I don't do any, Pur purified water is really bad for us. It has chlorine and fluoride in it. See, water shouldn't have any, if your water says ingredients in the back of it, that's not good. Water shouldn't have that. It's supposed to be natural spring water. And you get it from either, do y'all have a Sprouts? Yes. Trader Joe's? Yes. You Sprouts can get it from there. Yeah. yeah. The, uh, the dentist will tell you that you that's what they tell you? Yes. Yeah, they lying to us. When the kid, yeah. That's too much fluoride. Because think about it. We got it in our toothpaste, yeah. which I don't have, I don't do that toothpaste anymore. <laughs> it's in tap water. It's in when you take all the showers. Yeah. Literally, you're washing your food and everything. Everything is in fluoride. Yeah. Fluoride is bad yeah. because it's it's not to get it's it's to get us sick over time, not right away. So I can tell. Mm -hmm. you need to get your COVID vaccine and you need to wait. So it's it's <laughs> yeah. I didn't get my vaccine? Oh, I'm not ever getting that. <laughs> Oh, thank God! You never know who you come across, oh, right? You never know if they're like down with the agenda or. Thank God! I'm so glad y'all said that. Woo! 